16 years ago, the streets of Trinidad and Tobago were awash with the national colors as the smallest nation to ever qualify for a FIFA World Cup Finals celebrated the achievement with reckless abandon. Today, we reminisce on this country's single greatest achievement. For 16 years, the sting of November 19th, 1989 remained fresh, even as the strike squad was celebrated, retired, and moved on to post-football lives. By March 2005, it looked to be another disappointment for the then Soka Warriors. Little St. Clair's men struggled to have the capacity of the 25,000-seat Hazley Crawford Stadium by the time they picked up their first point against Costa Rica. The March 30th match proved to be St. Clair's last with the national team. The emergence of Leo Ben Hacker in the TNT dugout was seen as a major coup for TNT, part providence, part true deal-making, the same mix that had gifted the Confederation three and a half spots for the first time. TNT beat Panama 2-0 on June 4th. The highlight of that match was peak Dennis Lawrence. Tallest finally bringing some joy to fans of the red, white and black. It wouldn't be the last time. Defeats on the road to Mexico and the USA may have been expected. But after a 5-1 trouncing on match day two, the 3-2 win over Guatemala, could to see a little magic and a stern John double, was a welcome return to the W column. Two more slim road defeats set up a do-or-die final match day. Stern did, and TNT lived to fight the fourth best team in the Asian Confederation. Two goals, five minutes apart in the latter stages, added to the drama in those heady days. The second, an equaliser, was perhaps Chris Burchell's greatest contribution to his mom's birthplace. It set the stage for Manama. Over 7,000 miles away from Port of Spain, the Soka Warriors carried the dreams of generations of footballers and football fans. It's difficult to describe November 16, 2005 without goosebumps, tears or a smile. Dwight York driving forward, Kenwin Jones winning a corner, and Dennis arriving late for the most important header of his career. Only half came for it, and it's scored. Dennis Lawrence has headed Trinidad. However, you remember that date, remember what it took to get there, and on whose shoulders those men rose to lift this country into the global football conversation. Jovan Ravello, TTT Sport.